We present mixed, out-of-context data augmentation for 3D scenes. Our augmentation technique improves generalization by effectively balancing between global context and local features. During training of neural networks, data augmentation is commonly used to prevent overfitting. Existing uh, 3D data augmentation techniques include transformations such as rotation, scaling, or color jitter. For 3D scene understanding tasks such as semantic segmentation, these data augmentation techniques preserve the context of a scene, that is, co-occurrences and spatial arrangements of objects. This context might help to predict the semantic class of individual objects. However, conventionally trained models are prone to overfit to context. For example, models have difficulties predicting objects in unusual environments and do not generalize well to out-of-context examples. We argue that object semantics can be invariant to context. For example, a toilet remains a toilet even in the middle of a conference room. As a solution, we propose Mixed, a 3D data augmentation technique. Mixed creates new training samples on the fly by combining two existing scenes. Mixing preserves the context of the individual scene, but also adds new out-of-context object arrangements. Mixed pipeline is easily incorporated into existing code bases. Instead of feeding a single augmented scene into the 3D model, we augment a second input scene in parallel. Then we mix them together, or simply speaking, concatenate augmented points and labels. We then input the resulting mixed scene into the model. For semantic segmentation, we compute the standard cross-entropy loss on the predicted labels of the mixed scene and then altered ground truth labels. Mixed is a simple data augmentation technique which can be integrated in existing code bases in only four lines of code. In the following, we present our intuition why mixed achieve improved generalization. We illustrate how mixed balances between global context and local features. Global context helps reasoning about object semantics as it resolves um, local ambiguities and provides useful contextual cues, such as spatial arrangements of objects. Current state-of-the-art methods, such as sparse convolutional approaches, have large receptive fields and are therefore able to capture the global context of the entire scene. However, relying too heavily on global scene priors can be harmful. Models may overfit to contextual cues of the training set, resulting in poor generalization to unseen data. Local structures, in contrast, are invariant to the context and could be used better to reason about the semantics. Our solution, Mixed, seeks to general regularize the training process to make better use of local features. As a result, trained models become more robust to context changes and can better balance between context and local features. Going back to our example of the conference room, we are now able to correctly predict object placed in out-of-context environments. A toilet remains a toilet even placed in the middle of a conference room. In our experiments, we train state-of-the-art point-based and voxel-based methods with mixed. We observed consistent improvements on the popular indoor datasets and the outdoor dataset on both test and validation. Out-of-context generalization is even more important in safety-critical settings, such as autonomous driving, where rare but dangerous situations are often not well represented in the training set. Here we show an example where a pedestrian appears in front of a vehicle. A Minkowski net only trained with baseline augmentations suffer from the strong contextual prior which accompanies the road. Therefore, it misses to detect the pedestrian. However, model trained with mix detects the pedestrian as it's robust to the unusual context. We provide additional in-depth analysis and insight, and additionally, comparing mix to other augmentation techniques. We explain the robustness against context changes and show that the features learned with mix represent an improved trade-off between global context and local geometry. First, we investigate the role of context for semantic segmentation. Recent developments focus on models with larger receptive fields such that they can capture a large scene context. Intuitively, context provides an additional global information that is helpful for making local predictions on point level. To verify this hypothesis, we artificially reduce the scene context. In particular, we train on 
different models on small regions of uh, scenes. For example, just on quarter of the original scene or on 16th of the original scene. As a consequence, the model sees only fraction of the original scene and therefore cannot rely on global context. We observe similar behavior with a point-based model such as KPConf. Our experiments indicate that increasing the crop or past scene size and thus the context is in general helpful. However, only up to a certain point at which overfitting to context limits performance. Next, we show that models trained with mixed are less reliant on context information and make better use of local structures, alleviating the context overfitting problem. For this experiment, we train model with and without mixed on full scan net training scenes. However, at test time, we simulate mid missing context by showing only isolated objects to the trained network. In this experiment, therefore, shows how much the model depends on the contextual information and how much it can make use of local geometry. From this experiment, we learn two important takeaways. First, the scores on single instances are overall substantially lower compared to evaluating scenes. This indicates the great importance of global context. Secondly, Mix performs drastically better on single instances than models trained without Mixed. We conclude that Mixed trained models are notably less dependent on global context to make accurate predictions. Next, we seek to find a simpler approach than mixed for balancing global context and local features. For this, we look into various alternative out-of-context augmentations. First, show, we show random noise augmentations as a way of obscuring scene context. We present two flavors. First, we add random noise close to object surface. Second, we add random noise uniformly. Adding these noise patterns drastically reduced performance compared to the baseline. Next, we adapt cutout from the image domain and remove points that fall into randomly sampled cubicle chunks. This resembles a thinning out effect of the context level, um, which reduces the risk of overfitting to small training set specific contextual features. The experiment shows that cutout is sensitive to the parameter choice and cannot match mixed performance. Finally, we look into mixing a second scene without providing target labels. That is, the loss is only computed from the points of one scene. While this method outperforms the baseline, it still doesn't match mixed performance. Nevertheless, this reveals an additional strength of mix, providing significant improvements even in the absence of annotations. Mix creates novel training example by simply mixing two scenes. We investigate which role the overlap of these two scenes plays. First, as we effectively combine two scenes in a single batch entry, we analyze if uh, the improved performance by using mixed is solely traced back as a batching technique. Um, we place two scenes in the same batch entry, but create a large gap between them. Therefore, no information can be propagated from one scene to the other. And surprisingly, that doesn't result in a significant difference to the baseline. Next, we move the second scene as close as possible to the first scene so it won't create overlaps. Here, information can flow uh, through the model's receptive field mutually between the scenes. We observe that this result is significantly in significant performance improvement since each scene is indirectly influenced by the context of the neighborhood scene via the receptive field of the model. However, Mixed outperforms all presented scenes overlap augmentations by a large margin. We conclude the context overlap caused by mixing scenes is the decisive aspect which explains mixed performance. In our experiments, we observe that mixed shows the properties of a regularization method. Models trained with mixed exhibit a higher train loss but achieve a lower validation loss, particularly when training time progresses. As mix reduces the generalization gap, we observe less overfitting to the training set and better generalization on the validation set in terms of semantic segmentation performance. Thank you for watching. Please check our project page, GitHub, and 3DV demo page, where we try to find the limits to mixed generalization abilities.